Walk the plank, Peter Pan, John Darling yelled, waving a wooden sword at his brother, Michael. The boys were playing in their nursery. John was pretending to be Captain Hook, and Michael was pretending to be Peter Pan. All right, John and Michael, time for bed, Wendy said, walking into the room. Just five more minutes, John pleaded. You'll have plenty of time to walk the plank tomorrow, Wendy said. Michael and John put down their swords and dutifully crawled into their beds. Soon, John and Wendy were fast asleep. Michael squeezed his eyes shut, but it was no use. He kept picturing Captain Hook trying to capture Peter Pan. Suddenly, Michael heard a rattling sound followed by a loud whoosh. He opened his eyes and looked around. The nursery windows were thrown wide open, but no one was there. Then Michael noticed a shadow against the far wall. He gasped in fear. The shadow looked just like Captain Hook. Michael wanted to run, but he couldn't he would have to hide. Michael quickly dove under the covers. Captain Hook was scary. But being under the covers didn't make Michael feel any better. He needed to know if the pirate was in the nursery. Slowly, he lifted the bottom edge of his blanket and peeked out. Michael still couldn't see Hook, but the captain's shadow was right there against the wall, as large as life. The shadow looked around the nursery for a moment. Then it began to creep toward the far corner. A chill ran down Michael's spine. Captain Hook was headed right toward Wendy. Michael knew he had to protect his sister. As he glanced around the nursery, his eyes fell on his wooden sword. Michael reached down and grabbed the sword, just as the shadow got to Wendy. He threw off his covers and leaped towards it. The shadow stumbled backward. Michael lunged at it again, but it swiped at him with its hook. Michael dove under his bed. The shadow reached for him, but he darted away just in time. The shadow jumped onto the bed. Michael gulped, waiting for the hook to swipe at him again. He wondered why he was seeing only Captain Hook's shadow. Where was Hook hiding? Michael knew he had to do something. He couldn't stay under the bed forever. Captain Hook was sure to get him sooner or later. Summoning all his courage, Michael dashed into the middle of the room, but the shadow came after him. As he tried to get away, he tripped over a ball. The shadow skulked towards him. Shivering, Michael pictured the crocodile that waited for anyone who walked the plank. Suddenly, Michael heard someone shout out, Cock-a-doodle-doo! Peter Pan, Michael said as his hero flew in. I'm so glad you're here. Captain Hook tried to get Wendy, but I stopped him. Hook is here. Peter asked, looking round. Why, it's Captain Hook's shadow. Don't let it get away. The shadow tried to run, but Peter flew after it. It's only a shadow? Michael asked. Suddenly, he wasn't so scared. He leaped up from the floor and ran after it too. Grab it from the other side, Peter called. Michael ran toward the shadow from the right as Peter flew at it from the left. The shadow was trapped. In a flash, Michael reached out and caught it. Put it in here, Peter cried, holding out a sack. Michael stuffed the shadow into the sack and Peter tied it closed. That was close, Peter said. Why was Captain Hook's shadow here? Michael asked. I stole the shadow for a prank, Peter explained. Some prank. The shadow has been nothing but trouble. 
It pulled the lost boys' tails and put pine cones in their beds. And then it flew away from Neverland to cause trouble in London. That sounds really awful, Michael cried, looking at Peter with wide eyes. I'm glad we caught it. Peter nodded. Thanks for all your help, Michael. I'd better fly back to Neverland and return it right away, while everyone aboard Captain Hook's ship is still asleep. Those nasty pirates have already caused enough trouble. Do you want to come with me? Peter asked Michael. It'll be a great adventure. Not without Wendy and John, Michael replied. Then let's take them, Peter said, flying over to Wendy's bed. He reached down to give her a gentle shake, then drew his hand back. Ah, oh, she's fast asleep. He looked over at John and said, John's asleep too. Maybe next time, Peter said, jumping to the window ledge. Goodbye, Michael. Tell Wendy and John that I said hello. Then he flew out into the night. I will, Michael promised. He waved goodnight and then went back to bed, smiling. He was glad to have had another adventure with Peter. That's the end. For more such interesting stories, please subscribe to our channel. Tell Tell Stories.